Hello and welcome back to Phasmophobia. Okay, so today we're going to try something a little different. I'm not going to be finding out who the ghost is. You guys are. Yep. Um, a few people who don't have PCs or don't, that's not available for consoles, who actually like the game, but I know myself watching videos is get re does get repetitive so for this and I don't know how it's going to work I really don't this is just a trial and error uh, probably more error than trial but we'll give it a go I want you guys to solve the ghost okay so how it's going to work we are on an intermediate level in Tanglewood I think five minutes cooldown on amateur is a little bit too much um, to get things started two minutes is probably about right on the intermediate now we'll go to professional if we get this done and it's okay <laughs> I don't know so first off what we're going to do we are not bothering with these the sole objective of this uh, video is for you guys to find out what the ghost is. To do that, you guys need to know what to look for. So, we got our ghosty ghosty book. Okay. Ghosty ghosty books. So each ghost has a strength and weakness. You don't, I'm not expecting anyone to know these or to pick it up on that. So the first ghost is spirit. It doesn't have any, it's a just run of the mill ghost, it's uh, powerful. Uh, weaknesses using smudge, sun spirit. We're not bothered about the strength and weaknesses really. Uh, it can come in handy in professional for looking at if we're doing no evidence runs or um, that kind of thing because uh, using the smudge sticks it doubles the length of time so where you've got like a minute and a half of a normal smudge sticks uh, before a normal ghost would attack this gives you three minutes before it would attack so you can always drop a smudge stick down do a timer if it doesn't attack if it doesn't hunt for three minutes then it is more than likely a spirit but it's the evidence we'll want to look for so the evidence for a spirit is spirit box fingerprints and ghost writing now you'll need to take note of the evidence because when I go through the house searching for the evidence I will not be pointing it out nothing will be going in my book so you guys need to keep track of what evidence is being shown at that time and also what ghost has what evidence. The wraith evidence is fingerprints, freezing temperatures and spirit box. Phantom. Now, don't be tricked by this. We'll, if we do any secondary evidence runs later, uh, if, depending on how this goes, these will come into play. But for the moment, we're just doing an evidence run. So for a fandom, it's AMF level 5, ghost orbs and freezing temperatures. For a poltergeist, the evidence is a spirit box, fingerprints, and a ghost orb. For Banshee, it's AMF level 5, fingerprints, and freezing temperatures. For a gin, it's spirit box, ghost orb, 
an EMF level 5. For a mare. Spirit box. Ghost orb. And freezing temperatures. A revenant. EMF level 5. Fingerprints. And ghost writing. Shade. EMF level 5. Ghost orb. And ghost writing. Demon, spirit box, ghost writing, and freezing temperature. On a secondary evidence run, you can also ask the demon uh, ask questions on the Ouija board, and it will not lower your sanity. Where others does. Yuri, ghost or ghost writing, and freezing temperatures. Now, don't get this bit confused with a spirit. It just means that it will not wander. You smudging a Yuri just means it will stay in the room a bit longer. That's all. And finally, an Oni. AMF level 5. Spirit box and ghost writing. Okay, so I have the key. We will start. So, I will not be, once we start entering the house, I will not be seeing anything. You need to watch out for the clues and the evidence as they appear. Now, I will linger when I drop the items. So you can take a look. And again, I will wait for about 30 or 40 seconds when we check for orbs. Other than that, uh, mm, I have no bother with four cams. I see the objectives on much cop. As it is intermediate, we do not need to worry. Oh, we don't need, not need to worry about the uh, breaker being switched on. So let's go and find the ghost room. Hallway ghost. Fantastic. Let's try and find its room. Thank you. 
How old are you? Okay, so I'm going to stay at the monitor for about 40 seconds so that you look to see if there are any orbs. Okay guys, all the evidence is in. Have you got it?
So we recap on what the ghost uh, evidence are just before you make your final choice. It's EMF level five, spirit box and ghost writing for an only. For Yui, it's ghost orb, ghost writing and freezing temperatures. For a demon, it's spirit box, ghost writing and freezing temperatures. For a shade, it's EMF level five, ghost orb and ghost writing. For Revenant, it's EMF level 5, Fingerprints and Ghost Writing. For Romare, it is Spirit Box, Ghost Orb and Freezing Temperatures. For a Jin, it's Spirit Box, Ghost Orb and EMF level 5. For Banshee, it's EMF level 5, Fingerprints and freezing temperatures. For Poltergeist, it's Spirit Box, Fingerprints, and Ghost Orb. For Phantom, it's EMF 5, Ghost Orb, and freezing temperatures. For Wraith, it's Fingerprints, freezing temperatures, and Spirit Box. And finally for Spirit is Spirit Box, Fingerprints and ghost writing. Hi everybody, that is the ghost evidence. That is the ghost's uh, evidence charts. Feel free to skim backwards and forwards through the video to double check everything. Leave your answers in the comments. And I will report and I will post the results of this video on the next video. It will be time for a couple of days to give everybody a chance to revisit and change their answer to look through everything and hopefully it goes well enough and uh, we might continue on doing it. We'll up it to professional. Uh, we'll go to various different locations and, and see how it goes. Well, best of luck everyone and catch you on the next video.